Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Steve Lingham. The other day I had a delightful visit with a member of our congregation who is no longer able to come to church. She's a person of deep faith, and I enjoyed our conversation and shared prayer time. Our visit reminded me of a verse from Psalm 90 that reads, Teach us to number our days, that we may get a heart of wisdom. Here is a woman who's realistically numbered her days, which has definitely yielded a great heart of wisdom. While we were talking, she shared loving remembrances of her two late husbands, one of whom she was married to for 51 years, the other 14. She looks forward to the day she meets her Lord and sees all of her departed loved ones. She made a comment about how wonderful it will be, and then she quoted a favorite Bible verse from 1 Corinthians 2. I have not seen nor ear heard, nor entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. I left her apartment blessed to be in the presence of this precious child of God. She's lived her life with such assurance, a truly blessed assurance, of what awaits us when we meet the Lord in glory. And then, as I often do, I thought of a song. The words go like this. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Please join me in prayer. Dear God, it's easy for us to forget of what, about what awaits us when we meet you in glory one day. Sometimes there's anxiety, apprehension, or fear when we think about that possibility. But I pray that you would displace that anxiety, fear, or apprehension with this God-filled hope of just knowing that we're going to see you. We're going to see those that we love, that have gone on before us, those who believe in you. And so, dear God, for those today that uh, might be languishing, worried, fearful, feeling alone. May you lift their spirits with that glorious knowledge that there's a great place that awaits us. Give us the faith to see it, that great land that is fairer than day. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me, my friends. I pray that you have a hope-filled and God-filled day as you remember that you are loved and you are never, ever alone.